and called the station, which was, I believe, based in England, at about 2 in the morning and broke down and told him he was about to kill himself. And who was that? What was that song? And what, what, what's going on? And uh, whoever took the call actually prayed with the guy to come to Jesus. I didn't hear about that for seven, eight months or a year later uh, when we happened to be on tour. One of the people that worked there told me that this is what happened. And, I mean, it just, you know, I could be making this up, but I'm not, okay? It's, it's that kind of stuff. So we could have played nice, mellow, you know, huggy, kissy, Barney Barney music, uh, but there are a lot of people in the world, everywhere, including rural America, rural Europe, uh, in places you don't think they are, who just don't relate to sort of gracious, sweet, lilting, gentle, huggy, kissy music. Um, they're looking for passion. I was one of those once. I stopped listening to white music for three and a half years when I was a kid. And thank God a black radio station kicked in in, in Milwaukee and for the next three and a half years, that's all I heard. I didn't even, I didn't want to hear white music because I didn't think they sounded like, I didn't think the singers meant what they were singing. And if they didn't mean it, why should I, you know, all I'm hearing is cash registers when I hear that stuff, right? I, I just, that was it. I was done. And years later, some guy asked me in a radio interview, I don't remember if it was Christian or mainstream radio, but the guy says, so what brought you back into white rock and heavy, you know, early metal? And, uh, as a player and a singer and stuff. And I said, uh, Hendrix. And he started laughing at me. And until that moment, it had never occurred to me that had Hendrix not been a black man, I might, I might not ever bother to listen to him. I wanted to hear, if you look, if you don't mean it, what the heck are you doing? I'm a piece of meat who throws money your way, and that's all I am. And if that's all this is about, I don't have any time for it. I don't care how technically great you are on your instrument. I don't care how wonderful you sing. I don't care. I understand technical precision and perfection and greatness. I mean, Segovia is an absolute guitar genius. I never listen to Segovia. Now, other people never listen to me or Res Band, and I understand that. In fact, I even respect it. But that's, that's really part of the answer to your question. It was truly an honor to interview Glenn Kaiser, a major pioneer of Christian rock. This interview went so well, it takes up two episodes. Stay tuned next week to hear the second part. If you're enjoying this podcast, please leave us a review. Reviews help us expand our listening audience. Please go to ratethispodcast.com forward slash CCR and leave us a review right now. And be sure to share with your friends how much you enjoy the classic Christian rock podcast with Wild Man and Steve. We will see you next time.